Hello everyone, I am Deepak Srivastava and welcome to my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you know when I'm going to release the, another video. Okay, so today we are going to learn how we can create a responsive gallery. I'm going to show you two options. One is how you can create a responsive gallery that has the card like format like you are seeing on the screen. So if I am opening this app, in the desktop, it should have this four column structure and displaying all the car. But as I move from desktop to let's say iPad or the tablet, it should change the behavior and it should become like this, the two column automatically. And if I go further and open this app in the mobile phone, then it should have the single column structure like this. This is the option number one. Now, if you are not creating a gallery that has the card view in it. Maybe you are creating an app that is uh, that has gallery with regular tabular data, like in this one. Okay. So similarly, if I open the same app in iPad, so I still want to keep it as a tabular format in the iPad. But once I go from tablet to the mobile phone, I want this to be uh, instead of horizontal row, I want this to be a vertical column like this right so it is automatically changing its behavior it's wrapping all the text so it can be best view in the device that you are accessing this app from okay so this is what we're going to build today and we know to start building any app we need to go to the make.powerapps.com okay and then i'm going to create a new app here canvas app from the blank give a name okay so app is ready the first thing that you need before we are going to do go to the settings in the display we need to turn off the scale to fit now what we're gonna do we're gonna insert a gallery here and then connect to the data that you are trying to show in this gallery in my case I'm connecting to my SharePoint site okay so I connected to my uh, SharePoint site and I mapped or the data to this gallery the next thing that I need to do I am going to change this to title and subtitle for now the width of this gallery is going to be parent dot width and the height I'm going to say parent dot height so I'm gonna make some changes here the text size and what all information I need I'm gonna increase the height of this template I also want to show so I'm gonna just copy paste the control here and this will display the status okay so I added these uh, different column here the status title description the date if you want to create something like this so this is a button that I'm using here let me quickly show you how you can do it so I'm gonna insert a button here put it over here and then I don't need this this button will show me the status okay and the text for this button is going to be this item dot current status and for the background color I have written a logic and of course that logic is going to depend on your need how you want to do that but my logic is if the current status is not started then one color and based on the status I'm just changing the background color so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to change the wrap count for this gallery okay so I made the wrap count four now if you notice as soon as we did the wrap count to four it is wrapped but still not looking like a card like we have in this app so what you need to do the first thing that we need to do we need to go to the grid view we don't need this separator so remove that okay now select one of the control drop an image okay and the width of this image is should be parent dot template width okay and then it should start from the zero and the height also should be parent dot template height okay 
Perfect. Now, I'm going to use a shadow SVG for this image to create this card-like behavior. You see here, so there's a shadow around this, this, this template. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so select the image, go to the image property and just paste that image that we have, that I have in the description. It's gonna look like this. So now one thing that we need, we need to change the height of this template. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna select the gallery in the template size here. I'm gonna set it to 250. Another point, just make sure that this is at the back, the image, the shadow image that we have, it should be in the background. And then select and then move them just a little bit down. And then just aligning them correctly. Okay, now we're gonna just make some changes here. So this is what you need to do. You need to make sure your card is displaying the data correctly here before you even go and further make changes to make it more responsive, okay? I'm gonna make it a little bit down, change the font. Now maybe you are trying to show more data, then you don't need to go the four column layout. I know my data is going to fit perfectly with the four column layout, so I'm going with the four column as a default. If you, if you want to create more broader card you can go with the three column or with two column it doesn't it's going to be depends on the data that you're trying to show okay okay perfect so now my card is looking good make sure that your uh, gallery width is always parent dot width okay perfect things are looking pretty nice so what we need to do to make responsive okay so if somehow we can make this rep count automatically changing itself based on the screen size then we can actually make this app very responsive like the app that i have at the beginning okay so how you can do it so there is a property called screen dot size okay now i can use parent dot size also because the parent for this gallery is the screen and it will give you a number from one to four depend on the size of the screen now how i know that so if you look at the microsoft documentation here like uh, in the screen size and breakpoint screen size uh, small medium large or extra large you will get a number one two three four and based on that number you will know whether you are uh, the user is accessing the app in desktop, tablet, or the phone, right? So that's what we are going to use. So right now, if you look at the parent dot size, it's giving me four, and that's correct because I am right now in my desktop. But what's the logic that I need to write based on this uh, these screen size? So the logic is going to be very simple, and let me just give you a walkthrough. That's that's all you need. If parent dot size it is small right that means it is getting accessed by a phone then make the wrap count is one if it is medium then keep the wrap count two and if it is us keep it four now let's run the app and see what happened okay you notice right so if i change this as I'm changing the, the size of the screen, the wrap count is also changing. Plus, my app is also behaving the way it should behave when we are accessing the app from the different layout. Now, a couple of more things. Now, if you have noticed, I'm getting the scroll bar here. And if you know, in the mobile phone on the tablet, the scroll bar doesn't really need it because we touch the screen. So you, what you can do, you can practically use this formula in any scenario. So for example, I'm gonna copy this formula and I'll go to the scroll bar property and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna say if, this, if it is small, then don't show the scroll bar and only show the scroll bar when I'm accessing this in my desktop, right? So I'm in my desktop, I can see the scroll bar. And now 
it's not showing it. Uh, same as tablet. So this is how quickly you can build the responsive gallery that using the card behavior. Okay, so that's the first part of creating responsive gallery with card. Now let's jump on to the next one. I'm going to add another screen here. Again, very same approach. I'm going to drop the gallery connected to the data. The width, I'm going to set the parent dot width here and height also the parent dot height. Now let's make this look like a table. This can show me the status and okay perfect fine so in this scenario what we need as i am reducing the screen size i want to wrap not this whole row because now it's a row it's not a card so i cannot wrap it instead what i need to wrap i need to wrap these individual control so what we need to do select any of the title go to the plus icon go to the layout and we are going to drop a horizontal container Go back to tree view. This container height and width very important. So the width for this container is going to be parent dot template width. Okay, and the height also parent dot. Okay, and then what I'm going to do? I'm going to select all of these individual control controls that I have. Cut. Click on the container, control V. So what we did, we actually move all of these control inside this container. Okay. And container should start from the zero, from the very beginning. Now, once you do that, you will start seeing those error. And what those error are, they are just because there is no parent that can be selected. So you can comment. This is the on select property of these individual control. And you can write or on select action if you have. Okay. And again, we don't need separator, so delete it. It's not required. Now, some update on the container. Number one thing we need to make sure it's central aligned. And it, this is also vertically, also central aligned. And for each control, what we are going to do, I'm going to select all them and say flexible width. Okay. Now, if you notice, once you make all these changes, maybe you are not seeing anything. This may not be the behavior that you are seeing right now. But if you are seeing something like that, select the gallery and make sure that you are selecting this template. And we're going to say this should be the parent dot width. Okay. Now, as you notice, we have our columns ready to go. One thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to add some padding to the template. And then I'm going to do the template fill color. Okay, as the gallery size is reducing because the parent screen size is reducing, we need to make sure that the template size, that is the height of the template, should be also get adjusted. Okay, so right now, if you see here, it comes with the predefined formula. We don't need this formula. Instead, what we need, we need our standard formula of the the screen size so we need that switch parent dot size screen size dot small then what we need to do so if it is opening in a, a mobile phone then the height of the template should be the sum of the height of each and every control that we have in our gallery and then if it is screen size dot medium or any other size, I'm just keeping it the default that 150 that we have set up initially. Okay, so that's the formula that we need. Now there is a property called wrap. What this property does, if the width available in the container is not enough to fit all the control that we are adding inside it, it's going to wrap them automatically. Now let me run this app. You notice here, right? So it is wrapping, but it's still not really wrapping everything how it should wrap. Each control that you are adding inside the container has a property called minimum width. So that's the minimum width that this control will have. We need to set this minimum width so that whenever we reach to that screen size, they will start wrapping around. 
And as you know, we are going to use the same formula. And this actually should apply to each and every control that you have. So I'm going to go here, go to the minimum width. Now you can use this app.active screen. You can use the screen name. You cannot use parent here because the parent for this control is container. So you need to use the screen name or you can use the app.active screen. And I'm actually going to use the name of the screen. So that is the table view. So if the size of the screen is small, then what I'm saying, the minimum width for each of these control should be 300. Now let me run this app again. Okay. Now it is wrapping how it should be wrapped because now you fixed the minimum width for each control. And as soon as you're going to hit that width, they're going to start wrapping. So, so that's what we have for today and what we have learned. We can create a responsive gallery that has the card like uh, layout as you see here right now. And then if you have a tabular looking gallery uh, where you have just one row in each, uh, each column, one column and one row, then you can use the container and the container will take care of wrapping it. The only thing you need to do, that screen size formula. Great, that's it for today. Give a thumbs up if you like this. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Keep learning. Thank you.